Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll explore the Recycle Bin. In this video, I'm going to quickly talk you through the Recycle Bin. When you delete files, they go into the Recycle Bin, which, as its name implies, is a holding area. If I double-click with the left mouse button to open up the Recycle Bin, this is how it looks. Remember, your view may be slightly different, because, as I keep mentioning, everything is very customizable in XP. For example, you may view it as icons rather than the detail view. The icons view looks like that. So at the moment, all I have in the Recycle Bin is a shortcut to Mozilla Firefox. So the main options are that you can right-click on any item you have in the Recycle Bin, and if you want to bring it back, you can left-click to restore it. And it has been restored to wherever it was before it was deleted. Let me minimize the Recycle Bin. And there you go. There's the shortcut to Mozilla Firefox. It was on the desktop before I deleted it. If I want to delete it again, right-click and delete. And am I sure? Yes. Left-click. And now you see you have this little bit of paper showing at the top of the Recycle Bin icon, so that tells you there's something in there. If I left-click here to bring the Recycle Bin back up, you can left-click on this task here to empty it entirely, which means to delete whatever is in it permanently, to delete the contents of the Recycle Bin permanently. If I left-click to close the Recycle Bin, you can see in the desktop view that there's still a bit of paper sticking out. You can see there's something in there, and it actually says that it contains the files and folders that you've deleted. If I right-click on the Recycle Bin to bring up the context menu, and choose left-click on Empty the Recycle Bin, am I sure? Yes. And now you see the bit of paper in the graphic has disappeared, so you know the Recycle Bin is entirely empty.